Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I wanted to talk to you today about my favorite traveling watercolor. Now, a lot of people go on the road, go on trips and everything, and a lot of people ask me, what's your favorite watercolor to take on trips? Well, you see, I have three palettes here, and I'd like to talk to you about all three of them because I like all three of them and then I'm gonna pick my favorite one that I take with me everywhere so I'm gonna start with this new one called art philosophy it's Prima watercolors I just discovered it because my manager at work pointed them out to me and said hey have you ever heard of these they're really good and I gotta agree I have been using a ton of this watercolor palette and you see how bright they are and this is this was like a brand new package and this is the classic Classics package so it came with like that little card to color swatch and everything so I really like them and the thing that I like about them is that they are easy to work with they are good rich beautiful bright colors but at the same time they kind of have like a dullness to it now when I say dullness it's just like it it's like it's not too bright and overwhelming to the point that it's like you know some watercolors I feel like they're just too bright or they're too fluorescent to me sometimes. I don't know if that makes sense, but you know, they just don't seem legit. And I love the way that they are blending on my watercolor paper. Now, if you're wondering, this is Strathmore watercolor paper and it's actually a pad and it's, um, yeah, I'm looking at it right now. It's a nine by 12 Strathmore watercolor. It's the 400 series, so it's like the brown, Pad of Strathmore watercolor paper and is spiral bound and let's see if it's cold press no yes it is cold press and it's got that like weird looking um frilly plant on it I don't know how to describe it so I wanted to go ahead and use the example as good old Peter Parker and NJ from the new Spider-Man Far From Home to be the very first piece that I painted with these watercolors now you can kind of see you know, I'm working with the red, but at the same time, it's like, it's not too bright. And the way I do my watercolor washes, nothing is too bright. And that's what I really like about this watercolor palette. And I'm, and I have been using it recently since I've made this. This is the very first piece that I ever made. And I like it because it's in that little tin and it's easy to clean off. Now, I'm really big on the space that I have with my watercolor palettes on where I can like make my washes and mix my colors together. And the colors mix very well together. That's a huge point for me because sometimes my watercolors, I don't know why, they just don't mix, but these really do mix. And I like that this is a little compact tin. I kid you not, it's, it's the size of my palm. And these little pans, these little, little blocks of watercolor, as I call them, <laughs> it's just, it's perfect. And the thing about this is that they've got different sets of these little tins, and then they've got like a really big tin. And um, I found this at Hobby Lobby. So I found it at Hobby Lobby. Not sure if it's available at Michael's. Uh, it's definitely on Amazon. I went ahead and listened to that when I showed, showed it off to you guys. But yes, I really, really like it been working with it a lot more as opposed to the other two watercolor palettes I'm going to show you. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the next watercolor palette. This is one that everyone probably knows. Winsor & Newton is a very famous watercolor, just art company in general. And it's just not watercolor, but they are very known for their watercolor. At least like the little tubes or this palette. Now this is just like, it's a standard palette. Now the first thing I'm going to say that I don't like about this palette, there's no black. There's absolutely no black. I mean, I know you can probably make your own black, but I'd like to have a standard black <laughs> because uh, there was a couple of, you know, a lot of people, you know, 
the previous one with Zendaya and Tom Holland, that was a lot of black that was being used and it would have not worked with this palette. So that's the one thing I do not like about this palette so far. What I do like about this is it really is a travel watercolor palette. You see right there it has like the little, the little watercolor, not the watercolor, just the water little pocket and you can put it on the side and you can pull out one side and you can hold it perfectly like you can stand and do a watercolor piece. Like so if you wanted to go out into the woods or <laughs> out in a field and you wanted to stand and use an easel and prop up your watercolor paper, then yes, this is the go-to thing I would definitely recommend. I do like the colors. You can see how bright the colors are when I'm using them on Peter. And I love the little mixture spots that we have up on the top plastic part. And you can even pull it out from below and you have more of an area to mix colors. So I really do like all the space that I have. It is a little bit bigger than the one I just showed you guys. And, but it has a lot of space to mix and it really is handy. And the colors are really pretty, but once again, there's no black. But I like Winsor & Newton. I've always loved their watercolors. It's one of the first watercolors like company I've ever started with when I got into watercolor. So you can see how beautiful and bright it is. Now let's move on. And this is really cute because I drew myself and my husband because I said that in a previous video it was like the sketchbook, uh, not sketchbooks, <laughs> way long ago, the sketchbook video where I was opening it up and so many people asked me what was your favorite part from your wedding. My favorite part was definitely my first dance with my husband and we danced to City of Stars from La La Land. Now this is my all time favorite watercolor palette. This is just because I have had koi watercolor in my life since the beginning. What happened was I went from your typical little student set of Winsor & Newton and it wasn't even in the shape that I just showed you guys in the plastic shape. It was in a metal tin and I started from that and then I started doing more research and I found that one of my favorite artists, she was using Koi watercolor and when I got Koi watercolor, oh my goodness the brightness of the colors, how many colors it came with. And the thing is it has an uh, option for tubes and it has this whole pan set. Now this is 24 colors and it is much bigger. It's probably the same size as the Winsor & Newton I just showed you, but it's got a lot of space to mix. It did come with a little water brush. It came with sponges to kind of mix or use as an effect to soak up. And it has like a little water spot and um, it has lots of space, like I said, to mix. Now this watercolor palette I did take with me on a trip to Aruba and I used it to paint on the beach. So I know for sure it works in travel conditions and it actually was really beautiful. The colors are just bright and they really, really mix well. And I've been using Koi for years. I've had many different versions of this palette. I've had like the 10 color version and I've also had this version forever and I've also used the tubes. So to be honest, if I had to pick one, I always tell people, what do I start with? What do you start with as a watercolor artist and you wanna go on a trip or you just wanna start watercoloring? I would say go for that watercolor Prima. Now, if you want to step up and you want a watercolor that since you're just really getting into it and you think, oh, I love this stuff. I love watercolor. I really want to get into this more. I would say go with Koi watercolors, especially for the travel. So Koi watercolors use are the great and they're the ones that I would choose to tell you, yes, you need Koi watercolors because all oh, the blues, the purples, they're so wonderful. Now, you as an artist, if you were to come up to me today and say, where do I start? I'd say go with the art philosophy, the classic Prima colors. Go with those. But yes, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry for being disappeared for a long time. Had a loss in the family. No big deal. <laughs> it was a big deal. That's why I was missing. But yes, guys, I missed you all. I'll see y'all later. Bye.